Are you spending hours on manual research, decoding confusing Google Analytics charts, or taking endless courses just to understand your market position? It's exhausting, time consuming, and frankly, takes you away from actually running your business. For me, that sort of sounds backwards. That's where SimilarWeb claims to step in. It's a digital intelligence platform promising to simplify everything with user-friendly, actionable insights. But does it really deliver? In this similar web review, I want to talk about key features and show you how to use them so you can decide whether it's worth your time and money. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful breakdowns, and let's begin. So what exactly is similar web? Well, SimilarWeb Digital Data Intelligence Tool helps businesses analyze website traffic, competitor performance, and market trends all in one well-organized and highly visual platform. You don't have to jump between tools anymore. Everything's in one place and displayed so that even complete beginners can understand it. The best news about SimilarWeb? You can explore some of its premium tools during a free trial. And even better, no credit card is required. Once you sign up, you'll pick an intelligence plan, each offering access to specific tools. If you want to get started, I've left a link in the description for your convenience. To start off our similar web tutorial for beginners, let's dive into one of the most popular and versatile sections, web intelligence. This category is used by digital marketers, analysts, sales teams, e-commerce managers, content creators, and me. One standout tool here is the competitive trackers feature, which lets me monitor my competitors' digital performance over time. Just pop in your website, let's pretend you're Forbes.com. I mean, fake it till you make it, right? Anyway, you can immediately compare yourself to someone like Reuters.com. You'll instantly see metrics like monthly visits, visit duration, bounce rate, and even detailed search insights like organic versus paid traffic. You can even opt in for monthly updates on your competition. It kind of feels like a whole detective agency helping you find out dirt on your competitors. Now, of course, this is based on your niche and some websites might have less detailed reports about competitors, but overall web intelligence is a feature that once you get the taste of it, you won't be able to imagine your digital life without it. Next up, web research. This part will give you everything there is to know about any website. The most basic and most used tool is website analysis. With one click, you'll get visits, rankings, device breakdowns, traffic sources, and more. It's sort of like similar web competitor research, just broader in scope. Personally, I love how everything is clearly visualized with graphs, maps, and timelines. Plus, there are built-in guides and even video tutorials right in the interface. Talk about thinking of beginners. I'm almost offended, like, hey dude, I'm trying to make a videos tutorial over here. Don't take my job away. Jokes aside, you'll also find advanced metrics, like referring sites, social traffic, and even web category analysis, a tool that ranks the key players in your space by acquisition source, and all of this in one place. I mean, there's so much information here, I'm not gonna lie, it can feel a bit overwhelming sometimes. A quick heads up, some tools have a crown icon, meaning they're only available by request. If you click talk to sales, brace yourself introverts, you can expect an incoming call usually in about one business day. Efficient? Yes. Slightly intimidating for those of you who don't like human contact? Also yes. Look, sometimes I just don't like talking to people on the phone, okay? Okay. Moving on to search intelligence, this category includes two tools. One is search tracking, but that one's locked behind a custom paywall and a phone call, so we'll skip it. But the second tool, similar web keyword research, is pure gold. Just type in a keyword, any keyword like VPN, and you'll get volume, competition, zero-click data, SERP composition, CPC ranges, and way more. The most exciting part of all of this, you can see which websites rank for the keyword and how much of their traffic is organic versus paid. And this gives you a sneak peek inside your competitor's playbook. Maybe that KW you were aiming for is all made from paid traffic. Maybe you should tailor a different approach. Very useful. Now, to be fully transparent, I did run into a con here. Sometimes I found a page not found error when trying to research a site. It happened across multiple browsers, devices, both with and without a VPN. I can't figure out why this happened. Maybe something the team at SimilarWeb might want to look into. Let's briefly touch on other intelligence categories. 
app intelligence gives you mobile app performance stats like downloads, engagement, and user retention. Tools include app competitor analysis, mobile market trends, and app audience analytics. Sales intelligence helps you discover high potential leads and plan outreach. And key features include lead generation, territory planning, and an AI sales assistant to help craft messages. There are also more niche options like shopper intelligence and stocks intelligence, but I won't go into more detail about either of them in this video. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, leave a comment to let me know. And yes, similar web has free tools too. You can get basic website insights without paying, but naturally most of the advanced tools like keyword trackers or competitor deep dives are only available with a similar web pro plan. To be fair, they are pretty affordably priced. So if your website's making money, similar web will be an amazing investment. And if you guys want a concentrated similar web pro tutorial, please do let me know. So similar web is surprisingly feature packed, especially considering what you get for free. And they also offer a nice discount if you switch from monthly to annual billing, a wallet friendly option you'll find with lots of providers. What I personally appreciate most is that it saves tons of time since you have all your data tools under one roof. While not a perfect platform, it managed to do the job well for all my needs. And then on top of that, add more data that I didn't even know about. So final verdict, definitely recommend. Thanks for watching my similar web review. Maybe it was more of a how to use similar web video. Anyway, if you're looking for a more in-depth similar web tutorial, let me know in the comments. We're always trying to make these videos more useful for you. So your feedback is appreciated. If you like the video, click that like button and subscribe to stay up to date. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.